Welcome back everybody to another video. Thank you for tuning in today. Now you may be wondering, Rylan, you look a little different today. Guys, I got a new hat. It's a brand new hat, but it's not really that new. I just kind of stole it from my brother. So, you know, sucks to be him. It's good to be me. So yeah, that's, that's why I look a little different. Nothing else has changed, really. Alright, obviously I gotta address the elephant in the room. I'm wearing a sling. My shoulder's crooked. Very, very sloped. This is not sloped. This is angle, obviously. Clearly. Something's wrong, right? I have a story for you. This is the story of how I broke my collarbone yesterday. Guys, I went snowboarding. And I was gonna record it all, but I forgot my camera at home, so... Whatever, it is what it is. Next time I go, I'll record it, but it won't be for a while. So it's in the morning, right? We get to the hill. Uh, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect day to snowboard. Fresh powder. Nobody's at the hill. It was deader than dead, so we didn't have to wait in lines for the lifts. We get two really, really good runs in. Third run down, I saw this amazing jump. All right? Like, this jump was the jump of jumps, okay? Like, I mean, you could get some good air on this jump. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. And that's what I did. I'm going, I'm carving before this jump comes up. I pick up some speed right beforehand. I ollie off the jump. And what do you know? I tilt forward. Completely screw up my landing. Kind of land on the side of my head and on my shoulder. Here in my collarbone area. And I hit the ground, and I laid there, and I'm like, that kind of hurt. I think I messed up my collarbone a little bit, that hurt a little bit, you know? So I got up, I finished my run, I snowboarded the rest of the way down at the very bottom of the hill. I couldn't move very well, because I knew I did something around my collarbone area. It hurt a lot. Couldn't move my arm very well, so I didn't have much balance on my board anymore. I fell again at the bottom of the run trying to turn to a better direction of where I needed to go by the lodge area. I fell again. With a broken collarbone, I fell again. And I got back up, snowboarded by the uh, area where you set up your snowboards and whatnot and wait for lunch and whatnot, that kind of thing. Boots came off, put my snowboard on the rack, tied it up. Um, I had to get help for that actually because again I couldn't really, it was hurting a lot. Sat down and uh, we found a medic person and I was pretty pale at this point. Now I knew I did something but I didn't know what I did. I kind of thought like I could kind of feel my bones shifting a little bit so in my mind I'm thinking did I break my collarbone? But I played it off pretty good. I, I wasn't saying I was really really hurt I still snowboarded down the rest of the way I fell again got back up and kept on snowboarding and this is all meanwhile I had a broke collarbone so medic person comes we go to his little area of work which is like 10 feet from the lodge and he got me to take off my jacket so I did and he took a look at my shoulder um, and my collarbone he's like well you have a broken collarbone so I went to the hospital, they took x-rays, yeah, sure enough, it's pretty broken. Now, if this is a normal collar, that kind of hurts what I'm doing right now. If this is a normal collarbone, mine is like this, all right? One is over top of the other. So I'm, we're very, very positive, we're very confident that I'm actually going to be needing surgery. We're going to get a disc put in, or a plate right here put in, um, to fix my collarbone basically. What does this mean for upcoming videos and how things are going to work and whatnot? I am still going to be trying to upload every day to every other day. This isn't going to slow anything down. A lot of the shots that I get in my videos before the video starts, just kind of the intro scenes with the music playing, are going to be a lot harder to get because I use a lot of them. I film with this hand and do stuff with my left hand. I am right handed though and I broke my right collarbone so that is kind of a bit of an issue and it means also editing is going to take a lot longer. I don't have control of a mouse with my right hand anymore. I can't use it. Um, so I'm going to have to switch over with my left hand and that's really really hard to do. But guys, I don't plan on stopping making videos until this is healed or anything like that. It's just going to take some time to uh, get better shots. It's going to take a little bit more time to do that and same thing with editing. Um, that's going to take a lot more time. So tomorrow I'm actually going to try to get some shots of me um, getting ready throughout my day and what it kind of looks like now that I broke my collarbone yesterday um, and just kind of showing you 
uh, how much longer it takes. I don't know, just just showing you an inside of what my life looks like now. I am also going to be talking about motivation and consistency and routine and what is your why for what you do in your life. What is your why for tomorrow's video? So that's what I'm going to be uploading tomorrow. Today is just um, kind of what's been going on. Uh, basically the story of how I broke my collarbone. But I want to thank you guys for watching and tuning into this video. I really do appreciate it. It really helps out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and a comment on what I should record in the future. Guys, actually like leave some comments. Whoever watches the video, put a comment down below. I need a suggestion. I would love a suggestion. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And remember guys, keep it classy.